at the beginning, we are going to pronounce the Arabic letters and give an example of each letter with a word in Arabic. Of course, I am going to keep the word written in the screen, but I'm not going to write the transcription for the Arabic word in English because of two things. Number one, I am already pronouncing the word, so you don't need transcription. Number two, the transcription in English cannot 100% give the main pronunciation of Arabic accurately. So, it is not important and it is not that useful. So, the best way is to listen carefully and imitate. Okay. First, we will take them in order and then divide them. But while we are taking the letters in order, you will see the letters in groups, as I said. The group, when it's green, it's exactly in English, which means you're not gonna make even a slight mistake. And the group in magenta or purple, maybe somehow, it means that those two letters are in English, but you will find yourself amazed of how we a little bit change them. And then the groups in brown means I have similar sounds in English, but I need to tweak them to produce them in Arabic. And finally, you will find the red group, which means they are not in English. And also it means you don't have to be mad or sad when you cannot produce them at the beginning. Are you ready? I guess you are. Let's go on and repeat. Alif. Alif. As I said, I say maybe Alif, maybe Alif Hamza. This is Alif with Hamza. The sound of this Alif with Hamza is this is the sound of it, okay? You can find it like all the vowels starting a word in English, like ah, like in, at, on, and so on. In Arabic, you have the word um, um, and the word umma, umma. Second letter, ba, ba. The sound is b, b. And you can't find it in the word bait. Bait. The third letter with us today is te. Te. And it sounds t, t. The same as t in English. And you can't find this letter in the word tamr. Tamr. The letter fa. Fa which sounds and you can't find it in the word thawb thawb or the word thuban thuban then we have the letter jim jim the sound is j or j j or j both are correct. And you can't find it in the word Jamal. Jamal. And the word Jundi. Jundi. Then we have the letter Ha. Ha. And this is one of the red groups, by the way. It means it is not in your language, so don't feel bad. And the sound is if you pronounced this letter a bit correct at the beginning, you will find this place hurts, by the way. And you can find it in the word hoot, hoot, or the word hayawan, hayawan. Then you have the letter kha, kha, and the sound of this letter is kh. Strange, I know, because this is the second letter of the letter which are not in English, by the way. And you can find it in the word khamr. Khamr. Then you have the letter dal. Dal, which sounds d. 
d d and you can't find it in the word deen deen then the letter ذال ذال which sounds ذ ذ and you can't find it in the word ذنب ذنب and take care of this word because it has one exception of the very few exceptions in Arabic okay and we will explain this letter but just take care of it because you will notice that noon here is not pronounced noon it's pronounced meme and the reason is gonna come later then we have the letter ra ra which is pronounced r r if you speak spanish italian portuguese this is gonna be easy for you english it's gonna be er which is not correct you have to roll your mouth r r not r r r okay and you can find it in the word rub rub then we have the letter zay zay which is pronounced z z and you can find it in the word zubd zubd or the word zayt zayt then we have the letter seen seen which is pronounced s s and you can find it in the word Sura, Sura, or the plural, Suwar, Suwar. Then we have the letter Sheen, Sheen, which is pronounced Sh, Sh. And you can find it in the word Sharr, Sharr, or the word Shaitan, Shaitan. Then we have the letter Saad, Saad, which is pronounced S, S. And you will find here the difference in this letter because unlike the one before, which is S, S, this is S, S. And this is the brown group letters, which we can derive from C, S, and S, S. One is soft and one is powerful, okay? And you can find it in the word Sa'im Sa'im Salah Salah Suyam Suyam Then we have the letter Dad Dad And this needs a stop Although I colored this letter in brown because you can derive this letter from the letter del I don't like you to confuse or to mix or mistake between del and bad okay to produce de del it's like d in english you don't have to tie yourself but the brown colored letters you have to know how you produce them in order to be able to produce them from where the Organs of a speech of dad is to bite your tongue or one side, right or left, or both of them together, and say da, not the tip. The tip is dal. No, da, no, that's not correct. But da, da. This is dad. And by the way, the Arabic language is the only language in the world that have this letter. Okay, that's why some people call Arabic the Baad language or the Lugat Abad. Some people call it that. Okay, and you can find this letter in the word Baif. Baif. Bahik. Bahik. Then we have the letter Ta. Ta, which is pronounced ta, ta. Now you can see the difference between this letter and ta, ta, the second letter. The difference is amazing. And by the way, all the brown group letters are just more powerful. This is the difference. The previous ones are soft, but this one is 
powerful and big, a little, a little bit bigger, and more powerful. I'm hard to pronounce. Anyway, the sound is ta ta, and you can't find it in the word tabak, tabak, and the word ta'am, ta'am. Then we have the letter va, va, which is pronounced va, va. And you can see that you produce this letter by making your mouth like a bowl. Unlike the, the, which is already in English, you can get it with the tip of your mouth between your both sides of teeth, like this. The, no, this one is the, the. The whole of your mouth is bitten slightly between your teeth and then produced with your mouth like a cave. So it's the. The, not the. This is letter, and that's another. And you can find this letter in the word vil, vil, and the word vohr, vohr, vohr. Then we have the letter ayn, ayn. It is not in English. It is not in English. And it sounds eh, eh. Uh, it comes from the very back end of your mouth. The four letters, the hardest letters in Arabic, all of them comes from the velum of your mouth, the very, very back end of your mouth. That's why if you found your throat hurts while you are trying to produce these letters, good news is you are on the correct way. You are going well on producing them, it means you are about to produce them correctly. And this hurt will go by the time and it will not be that hard. And step by step you will produce them and you will never find any sore in your throat. So it's hard at the beginning, I know. So, Ayn and pronounced a, a, and you can find it in the word Ayn, the sound of the word is the sound of the letter as it is. Ayn. Then we have the letter Ghain. It's from the same place of producing Ayn, but you touch with your villain. You touch, these back organs touch each other. That's why it becomes like Ghain. And it for French people, it can be easy because they have this sound r in French, but it's harder in Arabic. Okay, so if you could produce French, I guess it would be easier for you to produce rain. Okay, and the sound is r, r, and you can find this letter in the word raith, raith, and the word ruyum, ruyum. Then we have the letter fa, fa, I like F in English, has no problem this letter. And the sound is f, f. And you can find this letter in the word phallic, phallic. And then you have the letter qath, qath, which is pronounced q, q. This is not K in English. It is a powerful way of Q. Even not Q, but it's a powerful way. It comes from the very back end of your throat. Okay? And you can find this in the word Qalam. Qalam. Or the word Qalb. Qalb. Okay? And very soon, the next letter, which is very similar, but you find in English, the letter Kaf. Kaf, which is pronounced k -k, the same like English, has no problem at all, unlike the one before. So, K, you can find it in the word Kaun, Kaun, or the word Kitab, Kitab, and it is the same in English. Okay, you don't have any problems producing it. Then you have the letter Lam, Lam, and as you can see, this letter is one of the purple or magenta color groups which is in English but needs more power in producing it. 
So it is not la, la, no, it's le, le, normal one. Okay, it doesn't come from the back, no, it comes from the, the beginning of your mouth, okay, and your tongue. So the sound of this is le, le, not la, la in English. Le. So you can find it in the word leben, leben. And the word laun, laun. Then you have the letter mean, mean. And the sound of this letter is m, m, exactly like m in English. And you can find this letter in the word mithqal, mithqal. And the word mizan, mizan. Then we have the letter noon, noon, which sounds n, n, like n in English, which you can find in the word. Nahl, Nahl, and the word Naml, Naml. Then we have Ha, Ha, which is quite similar to the letter H in English, which sounds Although it's very similar to English, some English speakers cannot produce this Ha. I don't know why actually, but it's very easy. It's not like ha, which is very hard. No, it's ha. And you can find this letter in the word hudhud. Hudhud. And the word haram. Haram. Then we have wow. Wow. Which sounds w. w. The same like w in English. And you can find this letter in the words. Wakt, wakt, and the word warda, warda. Finally, we have the letter ya, ya, which sounds y, y, very similar to the sound y in English, and you can find it in the word yawm, yawm. We have finished the Arabic letters with the sound and the groups of them, okay? Finally, I'm gonna read these letters without saying anything, and then you have to repeat after me directly. Alif, A, Ba, B, Ta, T, Fa, F, Jim, J, ها ح خ خ د د ذ ذ ر ر ز ز س س ش ش ص ص ض ض ط ط ظاء ظ عين ع غين غ فاء ف قاف ق كاف ك لام ل ميم م Noon, n, ha, ha, wow, w, ya, y. We finished. Sorry, this video a little bit long, but it has to be because after that everything is based on this video. I hope you repeat it over and over. Don't give too much consideration about the letters which are hard, which are not in English, because you will get them step by step. Time will teach you and you just give very good attention to repeating the sounds without asking yourself why this letter is produced that way. Because it is not your language and the answer is not going to be beneficial for you. Just Repeat them as I told you. Until I see you another time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.